Yo, what's up? Today on Passport Kings, I'm counting down five mythical creatures that really did exist. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Every now and then, breaking the monotony of life, myths come true and take the world by surprise. So today, to make you rethink everything you know about mythical creatures, here is a list of the five mythical creatures that actually existed. Number five, Hobbit. Featuring first on this list are Homo floresiensis, whom we commonly refer to as Hobbit. While opinion is still divided on their taxonomy, it is believed that the recent unearthed remains are that of an extinct species of human. However, numerous experts are now convinced that the Homo floresiensis discovered in Flores, an Indonesian island, are also part of human evolution. Along with the remains, scientists discovered that nearly 12,000 years ago, humans actually shared the planet with these hobbits. What is even more amazing is the local folklore tells tales of the Ibu Gogo, which locals say were approximately 1.5 meters tall, flat-nosed, and hairy cave-dwelling creatures. They spoke in what sounded as murmurs, and also possessed the ability to mimic the local language in the manner a parrot would. Based on the account of the Naj people of Flores, hobbits witnessed the 17th century arrival of several Portuguese trading ships and were last seen in the 20th century. If you still doubt the existence of hobbits, this fact will blow your mind. According to some Flores folklore, Ibu Goko still exists and thrives within the deep jungles. In fact, if you dare to venture deep into the island's jungles, you might just come across one or more hobbits. Number 4. The Emuji Next on the list is the Emuji, that Korean legends refer to as gigantic pythons which were believed to be young dragons. These juvenile creatures had to survive 1,000 years before they could completely transform into powerful dragons, which is why, according to Korean folklore, they spent their days underwater or in caves. Despite its Korean origins, this legend came true halfway across the world in South America when the existence of the Titanoboa was confirmed. At nearly 14 meters, 46 feet, the Titanoboa weighed well over a ton, and when it constricted, it exerted force of 400 PSI, which would crumble one's bones in a split second. 400 PSI is the equivalent of having 1.5 times the magnificent Brooklyn Bridge on top of oneself. This staggeringly large python may not be an actual fire-breathing dragon, however it could swallow humans whole without even putting a bulge on display. While the emuji have been extinct for a long time now, presumably after completing their 1000 years of life as a snake-like creature, for all we know, they may be now dragons that reside in a mystical realm. Number 3. The African Unicorn Yes, apart from the fantasies of little girls, unicorns exist in the real world. Sightings of this part giraffe, part zebra, and part horse resident of the Democratic Republic of Congo were quite rare, which is why skeptics were convinced that the Okapi was certainly the elusive unicorn. In fact, the African unicorn or Okapi's existence was considered a legend until the late 1800s or early 1900s when it was confirmed by the remains of its herbivore. This distant relative of the giraffe boasts a neck like it, legs like that of a zebra, and the face of a horse. Despite its close relations with the tallest mammal, the okapi remains under seven feet. Certainly, it is no less mystical than a unicorn. However, adding to the okapi's mystery is the fact that it bears striking resemblance to an animal that was part of ancient Egyptian markings. An animal that resembles an animal which was believed to be extinct centuries ago. Well, nothing seems impossible for the unicorn, or the African unicorn in that case. Resurrected or not, the African unicorn's beauty is definitely exquisite, even without the horn atop its head. Number 2. The Amazon what was once thought to be a fabricated legend by Greek historian Herodotus has now been backed by archaeological and scientific evidence and the Amazons have made their way from myth to reality. The Amazons were tribes made up exclusively of fierce woman warriors who were associated with the likes of Hercules. 
These bold women with their unwavering candor went through numerous hardships and despite being captured and relocated, they fought ferociously. However, for these women, their troubles did not end even when they defeated their captors, for soon they became shipwrecked before finally reaching the Eurasian steppe where the Scythians awaited them. Owing to their steadily dwindling tribe, the Amazons became powerful wives of Scythians and prevented the end of their tribe. Well, the existence of the tribe did come to an end until the early 1900s when archaeologists excavated 2,000 year old graves of nearly 150 women only to find that the legend had been true all along. In this grave site situated in Pakrovka, researchers uncovered remains of warrior women whose remains showed signs of brutal injuries and whose bodies were buried along with their weapons. Further solidifying their existence is the preternatural height of these warriors, which on average was around 5 feet 6 inches. And number 1, Dragons. Several theories suggest that the amalgamation of large crocodiles and dinosaur bones was said to have been the beginnings of stories which describe the glory of fire-breathing dragons that could also fly. However, seeing how we never encountered dinosaurs or how crocodiles are far too small to even qualify as young dragons, these mystical creatures in all likelihood seem set to remain a myth. That is, until the extraordinary discovery of Megalania, the Komodo dragon's ancient relative. Measured lengthwise, this petrifying monster was around 8 meters or 26 feet, weighed 1.9 tons or nearly 4,300 pounds and terrorized Aboriginal Australians regularly. This fierce creature was certainly designed to kill. Hence, it was equipped with serrated curved teeth and extremely large claws. Although flightless and unable to breathe fire, these creatures were equipped with an equally powerful weapon, their saliva. Yes, the saliva of this bloodthirsty dragon was venomous as it comprised of a blood thinner, the ingredient that caused victims to die an agonizing death as they bled to their end. The only reason this gigantic monster became extinct was due to lack of prey. Well, I wonder who should be blamed for that. These are the top 5 contenders among the numerous mythological creatures that actually live. It would definitely be interesting to see which mythological creature claims its place in reality in the future. Yo, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Then in the comment section, tell me your thoughts on this subject or traveling in general. I always answer those. Plus, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and don't forget to go to www.passportkings.com so you can learn about the awesome travel and money making opportunities that we provide. So yo, never use the term realistic or unrealistic no more. That's just a definition that some people who couldn't do it themselves came up with. Ask Isaac Newton all about that. Because you are a creator, like a king, a passport king. Jeez.